Jesus People was not produced as a Christian film. We see the characters and situations from the perspective of an outsider. The premise is that a small documentary film crew follows Pastor Jerry Frank around as he starts up a Christian band. Characters often talk directly into the camera, as they did on TV's The Office. Pastor Jerry receives bad news from his doctor early in the movie, and he believes his teenage son is not following God because of the kind of music he enjoys. Feeling like he's running out of time, Pastor Jerry gets an idea that can only come from God, or so he thinks. Start a band to reach your son. Pastor Jerry recruits a contemporary Christian singer whose songs have not appeared on the charts in quite a while. She seizes his offer as another chance to rise to fame. The rest of the band consists of Zach Crowner, a strict young man who can only speak in the churchy language of Christianese, Ty Rainey, a restaurant worker and Sunday school teacher who wants to live out his grandfather's prophecy that he will change the world, and a local beauty queen and hairdresser whose ties to Jesus are rather nebulous. Now keep in mind that Pastor Jerry tries hard to be relevant, but he's actually clueless. I hired a web page designer who has promised me he can get us on Facebook. You can create a Facebook page in like 60 seconds. Everything happens too fast, from writing a song, to recording it in a studio, to making a video. Soon there's a second version of the song and video, where the music overpowers the words, and the message is mostly environmental. The peak of the group's fame is at a secular award show. When Ty presents himself as a Christian who loves the environment, he gains respect from the crowd. Insensitive Zach blurts out, Who cares about the environment? Who cares about this world? It's all going to end in a fiery ball when Jesus comes back. His comment burns the group's chance for secular influence. Some of the characters grow as people over the course of the movie. Take Pastor Jerry, for instance. He learns his son has been a Christian all along. They just have different musical tastes. It's a different story for Zach, who doesn't learn his lesson. Instead, he escapes to a place where he can speak all the Christianese he wants. Unfortunately, that means he will probably never influence the world. But Ty, on the other hand, actually fulfills his grandfather's prophecy by taking his place in a field that few Christians penetrate, environmentalism. Jesus People is available online and on DVD. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.